Hey guys, Chris, Midwest Long Range, back in the shop. Today we're gonna look again at the Voodoo 360. We've got some inconsistencies in our SDs, and we're gonna see about some possible solutions to get that fixed. Stick with me. So we got it back on the bench today. We have our wiser uh, chronograph mount hanging off the end of it with our uh, magneto speed sporter is what I use currently. We, uh, we're gonna take some initial readings. Uh, we're just gonna do this with some SK rifle match ammo. Do a 10 shot string and kind of see what, uh, what kind of numbers we're getting. And we have a sneaking suspicion <laughs> or at least this is some input I've read on some forums and some other shooters I know, um, that possibly our Timony hit trigger may be causing some inconsistent primer strikes and primer ignition. So we're gonna test that theory today and uh, just kind of see what we come up with. So let's get this thing out the window and let's get our first run of shells through. All right, so now we're going to, we're gonna shoot our first 10 shot string and uh, see what kind of numbers we come up with. Move the wiser out just a little bit. And uh, that'll kind of give us an idea before we move on to our next trigger. This is the Timony hit, by the way. Well, there's 10 shots. So let's see what our SD came out to. So we had an average feet per second of 1021. For rifle match, that's moving pretty slow. We had a high velocity of 1032, a low of 1004, an SD of eight, and an extreme spread of 28. So that's kind of our baseline. SD8, extreme spread of 28. And we'll see if either of those numbers can improve any. And uh, we'll go ahead and get the trigger swapped out. So let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the Timony hit trigger pulled out of it. I do not have a spare Trigger Tech diamond. I don't have an extra 300 or however many dollars sitting around. And I do have some friends who said they would loan it to me, but I want to go ahead and get this video going. So what I do have is I have a Trigger Tech Special. Um, it's not a diamond, but maybe we can use it to at least validate the theory. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, eventually I will get a diamond and we will try that out and, and see what the difference is there as well. Um, but let's go ahead, get this trigger out, see what we can get going. All right, we got everything set back up. Uh, we're going to try the Trigger Tech Special and see if we get any different numbers on our velocities. Really, we're just looking for SD, extreme spread, that kind of stuff.
Okay, so there's our 10 shots. Let's, uh, let's see what the old chronograph has to say. It'll get done blinking here. There we go. So we had an average of 1030. Had a high of 1040. A low of 1017. Standard deviation of six. And an extreme spread of 23. All right, so we got some data with the Trigger Tech Special. Well, I managed to borrow a buddy of mine's Trigger Tech Diamond two stage. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead, pull the gun back apart again, stick this trigger in it, get it back out there and see if it changes the numbers even more. All right, stick with me. So we got the Trigger Tech Diamond in. Everything's functioning as it should. Click, there it goes. All right. Let's get the magneto speed hung on it. 10 rounds loaded up and let's shoot this string. All right, we got our next 10 rounds loaded up. Magneto speed's cleared out. So let's uh, get this, get these next 10 on the card. There's our next 10. Let's see what the numbers look like. We got an average of 1023, high of 1045, low of 1010, SD of 11, and an extreme spread of 35. Um, that is significantly different than, than everything I've seen so far. All right, so after a little more testing off camera, what we came up with was, so today the Trigger Tech Diamond had a standard deviation of 11 feet per second with an extreme spread of 35. Yesterday, the Timoney hit had a SD of eight and an extreme spread of 28. Well, I don't know if the weather conditions or something have changed today, uh, maybe some pressure. The temperature is a little different, but not by much. But today with the Timoney hit in it, we got a SD of 12 with an extreme spread of 34. So literally the two triggers are within one feet per second of each other, uh, basically, you know, on either one extreme spread or SD and they are essentially the same. 